so many of them on your TOEFL. I can assure you that right here, right now. And based on whatever country you're from, some idioms could be very difficult. If you've been living in America, like some of my students have, and have been watching a lot of American films, you may have picked up on a lot of these idioms. However, if you do not know much about the idioms, the American idioms and stuff like that in general, this could be very difficult. But it's all about the hidden message and how to extract the information in which is being given. Understanding the context in terms of what I've been, of course, coaching you on for such a while already. Right? So here we go. It goes something like this. Okay? Uh, you will hear, I wonder where Mike is. And the man would say, he'll show up as soon as the work is done, I bet. Now, this isn't so much about an idiom or an idiomatic expression in general. It's something that is being inferred nonetheless. But this is what idioms are. They're about inferences and you just understand the context either around a single word, a phrasal verb, an expression, or an entire phrase, right? And so some of the answers you will read would be, number one, he probably won't arrive until work is finished, okay? That's the answer. Why? He'll show up, work is done. So when work is done, when this is done, this will happen. This is the effect of this being handled first. Number two, it says he went to a show instead of going to work, okay? Now, the thing is, show and show, common word distractor, because you heard show if you read show, you might choose that one, as well as number three. He can show them how to do the work. It's not so much about him performing an action. It's more about him just showing up when something is done. Where is Mike? Imagine them being at, let's say, a basketball game. And them saying, you know what? He'll show up when work is done. That's the inference in which is happening here. Number four, it says he'll probably work late today well no he's not there already so he's probably doing the work and when it's done he'll show up this is you putting the story together and that's what you're gonna have to do so again i actually um wrote down a couple of things the idiom phrasal verb show up means arrive when will he arrive when will he show up now, these phrasal verbs and idioms, I put so many of them on my podcast. I might start doing more of these uh, idiomatic expression podcasts, especially for a lot of you out there. But let's just put it this way. In most dialogues, okay, the second speaker uses the idiomatic expression, okay? Most questions about this type of dialogue are questions about the meaning. What does the man mean, for example, Okay, so that's going to pop up. And again, it's going to be somewhat of an inference too, such as what I had already described to you. So going back to the question at hand, choices B and C, I wrote, contain the word show, but it's not used in the idiomatic sense. Therefore, that's why I broke down number two and three, both B and C, obviously, as being the wrong answer. Just because it has the word show doesn't mean it's being used in the correct context. That's what we're going to be doing today. So I do believe that in this module, there are about three videos uh, that I'm going to be doing. There could be two to three, okay? Nonetheless, it's going to be a lot. Now, remember to make sure that you go over the, the context of it. Uh, you know, you go through it. You listen to the video. You can practice it, too. So you always have the audio. You always have the document. Listen to the audio. Do the document, select your answers, come back, watch my video, or you could do it along with me right here, right now. It depends, and the choice is yours. And that's how we're going to be getting into this. So with that being said, here we go. We got three minutes and 43 seconds of recognizing synonyms of four idiomatic expressions. Okay, and we have a, a table of about 12 questions. Let's see how I go. I might just leave some for you, or I might just run through these because I love idiomatic expressions. If you've heard my podcast, you probably heard me talk about these expressions in so many ways. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is really, really, you know, I love talking about these. And I put them and describe them in certain ways through the art of storytelling, through everyday expressions, sentences in general, just so you can live. It's kind of like when, like Aretha Franklin, every time she got a new song, she didn't just start executing on the song. She would sit with it. 
So by giving you these different ways and contexts in which I dissect the idioms, the idiomatic expressions, the phrasal verbs, it sits with you. You put them into situations and therefore you remember them, right? And that's how visual I am. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here. Number one, it says get into hot water. Okay. A, she was in trouble. B, she took a warm bath. Now, for the most part, if you already, you know, if you already know what this idiom means, you more than likely know what the answer is, just because we're not looking at it uh, from a literal sense. We're looking at it from an idiomatic sense. So those are the answers in which you will have. You'll have probably two different distractors. You'll have an idiomatic sense, and then you'll have a literal sense. Always avoid the literal sense. Always. And then the idiom, well, of course, with the distractors, you just have to realize, okay, what word did I hear in there? And could these potentially be the answers? Right? So let's go through this. We're going to play it. I'm going to hurry up and just make sure that I'm sharing this. And I am sharing the sound. So we're all good. So here we go. Recognizing synonyms for idiomatic expressions. Number one, get into hot water. Here we go. Number one. So, Rita, you left work early yesterday. Yeah, and did I ever get in hot water for that? What does the woman mean? Now, check this out. Let's dissect this. Rita, you left work early yesterday. Now, does this pertain anything to hot water at all? No. Are they in a shower? Are they in a home? Are there any references or you know, uh, words of association that might indicate her being or getting ready to get into hot water or anything like that? No. She left work and she said, did I ever, does she sound happy? No. So we know that this is being looked at negatively. It's not talking about, oh, she took a warm bath. That's something positive. We know that it's something negative. Okay. And she said, oh, and did I ever get into hot water? The tonality of her voice, she's not happy. Okay, that's number one. Number two, words of association and the context in which the man had asked a question, which is a dead giveaway also. It all depends on how you break it down yourself. Okay, number, another one, run into, okay? A, he met Caroline unexpectedly at the coffee shop. B, Caroline and I jogged to the coffee shop. So this could be interesting. So we're gonna go through. We're going to listen to the rest of it, and let's see how you go. Number two. Number two. Where did you see Caroline? I bumped into her at the coffee shop. What does the man mean? So let's see that one more time. We're at the coffee shop. Let's see that one more time. Number two. 